Sound effects part two. Let's make our character actually grunt with effort when she is swinging her weapon. So, let's go find the human vocalizations. And there's three different voices you can use. I'm going to use human female A. And there's a bunch of different stuff to pick from in here. So there's stuff for like if she's running you can have her do that. Battle shouts for when she uses like skills and stuff. For right now, let's set up the attack. <laughs> Here we go, they're starting to sound more normal. I'm just gonna pick some random ones. Let's see. This will be fine. And then we will. Oh, these are the. Okay, these are the cues. Let's do the wave. <coughs> All right. I'm just gonna pick these. And then we will create a single cue. This will be attack sounds. Now let's go find... should be one in here that says jump or effort. Let's see. Tired. Cough. Cough. Cry. Ah. <laughs> Create a single cue, and this will be jump sounds. And then let's do one more. Let's see, effort push. Should be one in here that's pain. Quick action. What are you? <coughs> I'm gonna get demonetized. <laughs> 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 Yeah, you're going in. Alright, these four. Not you. Create a single cue, and this is pain sound. Yeah, sometimes working with sound effects is a little awkward. Uh, I hired a voice actress one time for a game me and my wife were making, and uh, happened to go through all the the different sound effects. I was beat red the whole time, I swear. <laughs> <coughs> Alright. This is good for now. This, these are good for now. Alright, so in our player blueprint, let's go find our jump function. So, we will need to make some slight alterations. Actually, no we don't. Let's just add one more pin to this boolean. And we're just going to type, is falling. So basically, if they are falling, they won't be able to jump. Because if we don't do that, then when we spawn this sound, which we can do another spawn sound 2D, if you just, let me just, let me just show you. So let's make this 0.25 on the volume so I don't blow your ears out. Let's get rid of this real quick. So if you don't have that little setup to where they can just jump, it's... <laughs> so let's set that back. So if they are falling, it'll register true and they can't do this. Yeah, that's cool. Alright, so now let's go to our attack function melee attack here we go all right so we want whenever they attack whenever they actually attack so we want to make sure it's on this side of it that they are calling this 
sound effect. So let's spawn sound 2D. And we'll just plug it in on both sides of this thing. And we will call oh, it's right there. Hey, handy. All right, I'm going to set that down to 0.25 also. Grab this sword. <laughs> hmm, the effort doesn't line up. So maybe not here. Let's set it on our attack. Oh, let's set it on our attack trace function. So I'm just going to copy that with control C and then delete it. And then is this our attack trace? No. Attack trace. So basically whatever they do that Whenever that trace is fired, it's probably when you're going to have the most effort put into your swing anyway. So even if they don't hit anything, they'd still apply the effort, so make sure that false is hooked up. And then we'll just add this right there to the end of it. damage. So anytime she takes damage, well, let's find out if the health is still greater than zero. So is health greater than zero? We'll add a branch right here. Actually, let's do this different. Let's do is it less than zero. Less than or equal to zero. That way we can do our sound effect off false, because then the true will go into our death function that we'll set up soon. If it is greater than zero, then we want to spawn sound, and this will be our pain sound. So let me add an enemy spawner real quick. And then, let's see, enemy to spawn, let's just do one. Actually, let's do two. Oh! Oh, he spotted me. right there when she's putting away the sword she was still running slow so we can fix that real quick while we're here so when we're drawing equipping our melee Let's add a branch right here. Because I think this is what's messing with it. So we'll just add our boolean of sword drawn right here. And if sword is still drawn, then we set our speed back down. But if not, then we'll just set it back to, I think, 450. That's the thing. Huh. <gasps> yeah, there we go, that worked. Alright, so 
so give me a second I'm gonna go find some sound effects for the sword that we can use real quick be right back uh, uh oh alright I have found some good ones so if that popped up is it recording okay so I found some good ones so I went to open game art again I love this site not sponsored maybe someday I don't know <laughs> but I typed in sword sound effect and found this one for our sheathing and unsheathing so credit to this person and then this one punches hits swords and squishes these will be for the attack animations so credit to this person Alright, so let's jump back into it. I've already imported the ones I'm going to use. So I'm going to select those three and create a single queue called Equip Sheath Weapon. I hate when it lines up like that and you can't see. But Alright, then I'm going to select all these. Right click, create a single queue. And this will be sword hit sound. All right, so this one could go in our attack trace too, but we don't want it on both sides. We always want the grunting, but we don't want them to always be making this sound. So off the apply damage, spawn sound. And this one I'm gonna spawn at location to show you how we would go about that. So on this one, since we are impacting something, we can get this impact point or the location, whichever one you want to use. Just plug it in like that. That's it. Simple as that. And this is going to be our hit, no, sword impact. What did I call it? I literally just named it. Sword hit. Sword hit sound. And I'm going to set this down to, like, also 0.25. Alright, and then in our event graph, when we are drawing or sheathing our weapon... Now nah, we don't want to do it here. We want to do it in the animation. So let's go to our animation blueprint. And in our state machine, let's find draw sword, find our drawing animation. Oh, and our spawn gear function. We could just do it there. So yeah, let's do it there. That would be a lot easier. So in our spawn gear function, right at the beginning, we will spawn sound 2D and this was equip sheath weapon and also 0.25 on that and same thing on our destroy gear spawn sound 2D Equip sheath weapon. Oop, wait a minute, I forgot to set that volume down. 0.25, did I set it on the other one? Yes. Alright, compile, and let's check it out real quick. Alright, so when you're putting it on, it's doing it. So then we are doing change sword. No, that's equipping it. So let's change sword, change spawn gear. Switch melee. Alright, that's when we're setting. So then we'll do it right here to spawn sound 2D. And this is our equip sheath weapon sound and I'm gonna bump its volume down. Y'all don't have to bump the volume down every time I do. This is just because I'm recording and I don't want to 
mess with y'all's ears. some sound effects. Now we can jump and it makes noise. We can... Who saw me? Oh. Respawned. It's a jaunty tune. I like that background music, actually. But, alright. So there's that for that. And then we've done that. So I will see y'all in... Wait, was there anything else to I think that covers it. Alright, I will see y'all soon. Bye-bye.